New subscribers! Laurie Elliott from Queen City, Texas. San Obatha from South Africa, currently living in China. Oh my gosh, Stephanie Wolflakes. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, Wolflakes is where she's from, Illinois. Barbara Elder from Montana. I like Little Newbie, East Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> little Newbie. <laughs> Alfie Ritzman, Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. Bill Miller, Phoenix, Oz. Armando Roman from Queen Creek, Arizona. We got Gabriel from Valencia, Spain. Spain, I love that. That's down in uh, Tennessee. That's cool. Seki Muley from Uganda. Yes, we'll see you in January. Matthew 2749 from the Spruce Groves, the church I was up there in Alberta, Canada. David from Mesa, Arizona. You know, finally, Gina Long from Mesa, Arizona. Arizona. Stormtrooper baby. She's been with us for a while, but she wrote, uh, she wanted to put where she's from, Apache Junction, Arizona. Natasha Charmaine from Canada. And Ben Dodds from Canada. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. And we got a great time planned for you today. We're doing morning scripture. We're going to pray every your day. We're going to energize. going to get equipped. going to get you built up for another great day. Yeah. And if you are a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We'd love to read that out loud. We do, because we're a family. Uh, on Wednesdays, like today. Family. That's right. And we're taking over Canada. We are. Taking over Canada. We have a scripture today. It's going to be Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 11. Through 13, we'll be talking about Pastor Scott's message, but before we do that, it's Comet Wednesday. Comet Wednesday. The Love Hounds, Old English, because we asked what, what chock full was. So chock giving, full. Chock full. I it's was just chock, chock full. full. Chock full. So full you choke or strangle related to face cheek. Oh, oh. chock full. I'm chock full. What's a hissy fit? Was there like. I don't know where that came from. Is there someone named Hissy that was just really good at fits? They're uh-huh. like, oh my God, you're having, you know, you're That's having, like a teddy like, fit. No, that no, was a Hissy, hissy fit. fit. <laughs> that was a wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pam Delagana says, I love that. My mind works for me. You got to make do. our, your mind, we talk your about soul, that. all of, works for your spirit. But you have all these stuff. No, these he things. gets lazy. Yeah. Oh, if does. you don't put him to work, he'll do yeah. what he wants to do. No, you he work. Like, today, he likes to binge work. watch Netflix. He does like that one. Uh, I like YouTube. this one. Donnell Bartlett says, you get funnier towards the end. And that's so true. I, I need to tell my wife, I'm kind of funny now, but when I get 110... You're going to be dang funny oh at 110. Gosh. I'm the, scared of a conversation with you when you're 110. Because, you know, old men can be funnier because we can do things other people can't that's do. That's right. There's no gate. The filter, the <laughs> filter, no filter has been removed. Wait till we're doing wake up 70 years from now. Lori Elliott writes, watching until the end and the share joke is magic. And now that song is stuck in my head. What? song if i could turn back time uh bb says that's just got your hand model and that is true these hands no they are now they're they're t-rex they're littler but they are quite gorgeous <laughs> remember the friends episode where jerry was going to be a hand model <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. robert beverly writes in the seven habits the author consistently mentions how each habit stems from faith in jesus christ seven habits of five, that was highly so accepted. good so we had talked about that book wondering about uh the the roots of it. i hadn't read it in so long uh, I forgot that it was a Christian book. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Pastor Jason, we were asking who you look like. He looks like Tom Hanks, and that is true. That's what he said. He says you look like Tom Hanks. And they think you look like Jason Bateman, according to Jennifer DeMunk. They do look like Jason Bateman. Yeah. And a lot like Thor. Right. Okay, and like a, like it's like yeah. I couldn't tell you how many times I walk into the mall, and they're like, we love you in Avengers. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. It is just unbelievable. Brianna K. Looper wrote, writes, I was at a Bethel concert in North Carolina this last week, and Jesus was in the house. Listen to this. She said, I had a complete healing so from cool. an issue with low blood sugar that I had been dealing with for years. I didn't even realize that I had been healed of it until three days later when she wasn't having any of the symptoms Oh, anymore. my gosh. I mean, that God still heals. What is it that you need healing of? Just know that God is a God of miracles. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, yeah, there's the Tom Hanks one. Howdy, howdy, howdy. howdy. <laughs> That's the one I wanted you to do. Uh, JB says, my name is Alicia. I'm five months pregnant. And she got a, a bad doctor report. I just want us all just to come in agreement right now. Be praying yes. this week. Um, you know, Holly got a bad uh, uh, pregnancy report. And um, boom, we just got to pray and 
man, it turned around and perfectly healthy, perfectly fine. So we believe right now, right now for this baby, for this mama, Lord, we see a complete healing for it. We see right now that the baby begins to grow, do everything. The doctors will be mystified, Lord, but you will be glorified in this. And what the enemy meant for bad is going to be something she can use a stepping stone to crush the enemy's head and say, look at the miracle God God has done in my life. In healthy Jesus name. baby, healthy baby in the name of Jesus. Amen. Live long, prosper in the land. Amen. That one that disliked you, then they're all me. You, I don't like you. <laughs> that was funny. You're the comedy guy. He's funny. But we love everyone. We well, do. But wouldn't it be funny? But if you still, could... I appreciate the comedy. Wouldn't it be fun in life if you could give people real dislikes? <laughs> like, like you could dislike. rate people as they walk yeah, by? No, well, what if you're just talking to somebody and you're like, I dislike that conversation. I saw a cartoon that my kid was watching where they had uh, ratings on the top of each of the people's heads and people walk by and I'm like, I'm going to give you three out of five. <laughs> Like the stars. And just how it like it destroyed the world by putting ratings on live work. people. Because when you went to talk to somebody, you're like, I'm not gonna talk to two stars. Like yeah. by an app. I don't talk to two stars, I talk to four and a half. <laughs> uh, oh Billy writes, What's a chalupa? <laughs> my wife actually asked the same question last week when she because you kept bringing up How chalupa. many times did I say chalupa? Two. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. Picture this. I so, don't know, maybe 50? I think even at one point I was literally praying and you go and you said something about blessing their chalupas. Here's, here's what a chalupa is. They what is take, a chalupa? You take a t tortilla and then they snip off parts of uh, uh, wings of angels, just a little bit of the edges, and they sprinkle it in there, right? <laughs> and then they put it on the grill. <laughs> I feel like you're not telling us what a real chalupa That's is. It's a chalupa. <laughs> it's got angel wing dust. Where do you buy a chalupa? Taco Bell. Oh, okay. So it's something on the menu of Taco Bell. It's is it a real thing? The menu of Taco Bell. It's not a real thing. Not a real thing. There's not a real. No, there's a child at Taco Bell. Well, there is. But it's, she's just saying it's not a real thing. No, she's no, an that's expert. Kind of, that's that's, me that's true Mexican food. No, she's an expert. Is. <laughs> she would know. You can't yeah. see her, but trust me, she she knows. If she they says had, it's not a real thing, it's not a real the thing. They made the burrito. Then they made the taco. Then they made the chalupa. Then they made the Dorito taco. That's how they made. Anyway, we got to <laughs> we got to do a scripture. Let's read from the Bible. From the Bible. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. And, and we were just talking about your message, and, and um, it was such a great message. And I, I, I grabbed a clip I wanted us to watch, and then we could okay. talk. And so let's uh, roll the clip. <laughs> oh, what is that? Two people verified in the history of man to have walked on water. Oh, that is a pretty big victory in his life. And here's the thing that you have to realize. Peter is not equipped to walk on water. He didn't have the tools. He didn't have super cool web feet. There was nothing about his web feet or anything in the Bible. He didn't have the tools much the same as you and I are not equipped for some of the big things that God wants to do in our lives. Why is that? Because God wants to do life with you. Wow. That's so powerful. Uh, uh, you, you really made me laugh when you said that he didn't have web feet. Like they the, didn't laugh as hard as I thought they should have. No. I wanted to tell them. Just so you funny. know, if I had been in there and not driving to Scottsdale at that moment, <laughs> I would have laughed for everyone because that is was, pure comedy. He's cool. He didn't have web feet. <laughs> he didn't. Not that web feet can make you walk on water. I don't know if they can. Because ducks have, ducks have web feet and, and they, they can't walk, walk on water. water. But, but I like that, that that was a good reach. <laughs> but you, you really, what you're saying is, is, is you're, the whole message was uh, so powerful in this particular point that you were saying is, is that he wasn't equipped to do the impossible. And, and part of the, the message that you shared was, was about keep going, try harder, don't give up and stop having excuses. Get out the boat. He steps out of the boat. Right. Right. He's walking on water, right. even though he's not equipped to walk on water. And then you said this, the, the statement that you said there right at the end of that clip, you said, because God wants to do stuff with you. Right. He has called That's us. That's so powerful. He calls you out of the boat. Or what, I don't know what your boat is, but he calls us out of the boat because he wants us to do the impossible. Because when you do the impossible, the world around you goes, okay, well, he can't do that. She can't do that. And then now it gives God the glory. And he wants to do life with you. Yeah. And it's funny how you're right, how most, most of us, as we preach a message like that, we, we, we almost point to the failure of, look, he didn't, he didn't, walk, he didn't watch Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't have faith. He took his eyes off Jesus. Well, you know, maybe, maybe but have you walked on water? Like, <laughs> That's what I said. He's one like, of two. He, he took some steps. He was one of two people to walk on water. <laughs> and what was he doing? He was doing the impossible and doing life with God. And, and so Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11 um, 
And you, you talked about the equipment. He didn't have the equipment to do this, right. Right? right? And so there's supernatural equipment that God is trying to get into our life, isn't that's there? That's so good. And that's really what you're doing. As you, as you watch a message like that, and you can watch the whole message on, on our YouTube channel. As you watch a message like that, it's equipping you right. with the equipment you need that you might be able to do that. Right. Right? Yeah. You, you know, uh, watching an episode of Friends about Joey being in a hand model, that doesn't equip you for... Well, you know, anything. <laughs> no, not that at all. Not, but you can, you can listen to things that are equipping you. And so Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11, really, Jesus hones in on here as, as he's speaking through Paul. And he himself, Jesus, gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, right. some pastors, and some teachers. So these are these ministry lead, leaders, right. these spiritual giants. Right. Right? The fivefold. And, uh, and, and first of all, their gifts... Right? Do you see that? Like, you, you know, you got a pastor in your town, you got a pastor in your city. That's a gift from God. You got an right. ap- apostle, a, a teacher. You know, teachers are gifts from God. And I know that you're a gift from God too. Uh, but just thinking about that. So, what are the gifts for? Verse 12. For the equipping mm-hmm. of the saints. First of all, you're a saint. Everybody that believes in Jesus right. is considered a saint. Okay? So, for equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. You say, well, is everybody supposed to be working and ministering in the church? No, no, no. We're at church once a right. week. Your ministry is what you're up to the other six days. Your ministry is in your job. Your that's ministry is with your home and your family. That's right. Wherever you go, you're a traveling minister. You are. You're an able minister is what, what it says. You travel you tra- everywhere you travel to. You're ministering in the Starbucks line. That's right. You're ministering something. Something. <laughs> But maybe is it, good, maybe not. But is it building the kingdom of God, yeah. in a sense? Yeah. Is it a bright light? Well, it doesn't mean that we have to talk about Jesus and everything. Right. It could just be a smile. Yeah. Is ministering life to somebody. It could be an encouraging word. Yeah, sitting down with your kids as they're falling asleep and, and telling them how much you love them and how much you believe in them and how great they are and how God has their hand on them and how God has big things for them. And I love how Jacob prophesied and blessed all 12 of his children in the book right. of Genesis. You know, And Jacob was kind of... Confused when Isaac only had one blessing, he couldn't bless Jacob and Esau. And Jacob kind of had a different mentality when he right. decided to bless all of his children. And what was he doing? He was ministering. He wasn't in a church, right? He was just blessing his family, no matter where Isaac you are. Isaac would have solved a lot of problems if he wasn't all about stingy with the blessing. <laughs> It's just been a lot of problems solved there if he wasn't stingy. Just hook Esau up, man. Just hook him up. <laughs> well, hook up Jacob. Then he, he had to dress up like a a, a sheep. Yeah. Or woolly, whatever the heck he yeah, was. Yeah, he put hair on himself to make him, because Esau was a hairy dude. But, you know, and I get it that you know, somebody's going to be commenting that, well, Isaac was a, a picture of the I promise know, and yeah. that the promise is for the sure, free yeah. and not for saying, the slave. And I, I know We're doing picture. hypothetical. We're just saying, isn't it interesting that Jacob was blessing his family? Well, he was ministering. He wasn't in a, a church meeting. He wasn't serving as a Levite. We all have a ministry. All of us have a ministry, whatever your life is. And so uh, you know we're what? out of time, aren't we? We are out of time. And we'll close with this. You were called for greatness. Mm-hmm. You were cra- called to live an epic life, a life beyond what you think you can do and you can have. Uh, and God is calling you out of the boat. I don't know if it's writing a book. I don't know if it's starting a business. I don't know if it's uh, asking that person to marry. I don't know what it is, mm-hmm. but it seems like it's impossible because it is impossible for you. God wants to be a part of what you're doing. So he sets impossible things so that we have to say, God, I can't do this, but I can do this through you because I can do all things yes. through Christ. And where do we get that equipment? How do we get equipped? We go to church. Go to church. We hear the word of God preached. We watch Wake Up. We listen to people talking about God's word, which pushes back on the carnality of our flesh oh, that, so good, that's Jason. full of doubts and fears. And that word of God is spirit And it is life, and we need it. And so be grateful for the gifts that you have in your life. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, that you are equipping us. You're leading us. There's people here today, so they're watching this. They're like, well, I don't have a good church to go to. And we just... We just uh, uh, been working with this person that's uh, visiting us from China now, Lord. And they might not have a good church, but, Lord, that you would lead them to the right place, to the right spiritual giants, that everybody, and no matter what town or what city they live in, that, Father God, you have equipping people in their world that can equip them to give to them, to train them up, and and, uh, give them that word of God. We thank you, Father God, that they're watching this and they're being equipped right now to do things they've never done before that you love when they do the impossible because you, God, want to do life with us. In Jesus' name, amen.
Well, thanks for watching. We usually go to a clip, but... I didn't know what to do there. I almost went... We changed the format of the so show. So if you want to already... watch the rest of that, just go to our subscription page and yeah. you can watch the entire sermon in, in its entirety. Yeah, it's an, it's an amazing... And don't message. forget to be aware. It. I'll be in church this week and so and you can get week. equipped. Get equipped. Yeah. Be blessed. Have a great day. If I could turn back time... If I could... Find a way. way. <laughs> I'd take back those things that'll hurt you. Oh, wow. Now that song's cool. really going to be in your head. <laughs> and they'll say. Or maybe they're like, can you no. turn whatever that is, can you turn that off, please? <laughs> Pastor Jason, please never make that sound again. <laughs> that was a great sound. <laughs> it was my singing that was not a good song. <laughs> See you tomorrow.